All right, today we're going to be going over another CDL play. This is going to be a throwback play to Express Search. Uh, this is one that we used to do a lot on Express SND. It was an A fake where you're basically sitting in spawn, waiting uh, for the enemy team to do something, and hopefully getting hit by an intentional stunt. So what we would have was uh, number three here. We would have one or two people, usually one person, uh, who would be by these hedges and basically try to get intentionally hit by a stun from the enemy team uh, that would be like an A defender here. Intentionally get hit by the stun, hopefully they would take that as bait and think that we were coming A and then rotate off of the B site for us. Um, and while that was happening, the rest of our guys would basically just stay in spawn. Uh, one guy would play deep spawn maybe. Uh, sometimes we have a guy at, at the trains here watching close for anyone that could be pushing, you know, fully up mid with a, a really rogue play or, you know, even someone dark here watching for anyone that might be pushing up the hallway on a quick flank so these people were just sitting in spawn waiting for someone to push while uh number three was getting intentionally you know baited baited out uh by our team so what they would do is we waited out and uh we'll play it out here but what we do is we waited out once he got hit by a stun we'd hopefully have the other team rotate towards a again uh, after they were B and, and first didn't see anyone B. Obviously, if you didn't see anyone B, the most common site on this map, uh, you'd obviously think that you were they were going A. So we wanted to basically abuse the, the non-information um, of them not getting anything B. Rotate towards A, they even hit a stun A, so they're thinking, you know, it's going to be an A hit. So what we do is we delay this push, and then once um, hopefully these guys rotate off, then we push through all together towards the B side. This number three player is now a little rogue activator lurker player. Uh, he can basically sit here, maybe sit in the trains, play you know mid train late and hopefully kill anyone that might be playing towards the ticket booth or trying to retake that way. Or he could even join back up with them, go hallways or even go um, at the top stairs here and try and play uh, B side from, from this angle. So. There's a lot of different options that that lurker player can play, but we'll get into it and we'll show you some examples of how this played out. So obviously, this is in the winners finals of stage two or stage three actually, and as you can see, no one on their team phase went A. So we we you know we send Mac there to get hit by the stun. It doesn't come because no one was sent A. But what they do is they they try and hit a, a quick flank on us. And number eight and number six here, you know that's that's selling a BZ two really strong players on their team they you know hit up this hallway they're thinking that we're just going to go hey they're not expecting three people to be in spawn so uh we get both of those kills plus we get another kill on i believe it's yeah it's mac here it was another player that was quick flanking through um up the stairs and he was going like upper and we get three kills right off the bat because they're just simply thinking that we're going to go A after they see nothing B. All right, another example. This is against Florida now. As you can see here, again, Mac is going to be the one uh, intentionally baiting for us here. And he actually does get hit by the stun in this situation because, you know, first they don't see anyone B, but he also gets hit by the stun from number one here, Awakening, who th th throws his tax over to see if anyone's coming A. And they get baited hard on this play. Everyone on their team rotates back through their spawn, uh, through upper the upper hallway, and we have a full-on clean site to take for our team. You know, Mac backs out over here. He can play safe and, and play for anyone that might be pushing through A at this point. And here, I'll make it big screen for you because they go to the big screen. Freest plan of our lives. They realize it's not A, so they start rotating back towards B, and they, they all funnel through the same way. At this point, we have all the positioning on them, and it, it's the easiest play for us to make. And as you can see here, if I back it up a little bit, even if they did send someone dark here um, and not send anyone through their spawn, Mac is late playing through this train here, and he'll be able to you know, cut and cross everyone uh, that might be coming through that way. So super good a way to play late in the round for this lurker player here. All right, so the final example we're gonna go over is one that came just a few weeks after the previous round that we watched, and it's against the same exact team, Florida. So we realized that we'd used this strat against them, you know, pretty recently. So what we wanna do is create a little bit of a diversion by just keeping them on their toes, switching it up a little bit with a little twist. So what we did was, again, once we, we sent two guys here to get hit by the stuns, Mac and Desi in this case, and we have bomb and spawn waiting because it's going to be a late B play. And this time we actually have Clay go B, 
uh, hallway just to check if anyone's coming close um, and pushing through B. So we do have them spawning that in this one just to keep them honest if they do end up going B. And what happens here is, as you can see, Mac and Desi are going to throw their attacks over. And once again, the stuns come in. They have attack mass, but they do get the information that we have people going towards A side. But what do you know? They don't, you know, the, the fake doesn't work at the beginning. Um, just, you know, they don't fall for it anymore. Um, they still have the guys B side. They're probably like, oh, these guys did the same exact thing. We shouldn't bait for it too hard. But what happens is we don't show anything B for a little bit. We're going to sit here, wait a little bit. This is where the mind games come in. Because at this point, you know, we could even just take it back to A because they're expecting us to go B with it because we did the strat to them a few weeks ago. So they hit their their attacks and at this point they don't see anything b side so they're just like okay this is maybe just an actual a hit that they're doing they send their guys back towards a and you know we actually initially think that we're gonna go a side as well um as you can see here we're gonna <laughs> motion the bomb towards the a side but again we're just chilling we're just trying to make them as super antsy and really confused as possible because they're not going to be seeing anything so obviously they don't see anything a they're going to go back towards b and then they don't see anything b they go back towards a and it's like this whole weird mind game clay's going to be able to get some you know activation here push through towards their spawn uh, or towards their ramp and we're going to get another pretty good plant because you know travis is watching it from here but he's going to get a double chow uh, from Mac and Hydra once they're ready to plant the bomb and he dies initially gets the first blood and as we talked about Earlier, you know this time it's it's Desi our, our fill-in player He's waiting for an a push through for anyone that might have rotated back to a and might be pushing through To our spawn, but once again, it's a really good late play to go back to the train So that's what he's gonna do. He's just waiting for someone and then is gonna play trains late. We have positioning really good positioning towards uh bomb bomb doesn't actually get down uh he gets killed while planting the bomb but we get the trade and then desi makes the late play so i really like this play just because it, it's super mind gamey and i hope you guys enjoyed this little video detailing um my explanation for this play so hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one